hello friends till now uh, you have learned how to use a table tag and the different attributes of a table like border border color height width cell spacing cell padding there are so many attributes are available and the next attributes uh, that are used uh, that are being used in a table are a row span and the call span okay and uh, i'll be showing you how to use the row span and call span uh, for a time being i am uh, removing this cell spacing and cell padding to uh, make you understand about uh, row span and call spans even though you can use uh, the cell spacing and uh, cell padding also but for a time being i'm just removing the cell spacing and cell padding so that the things will be more clear to you now uh, if i'll uh, execute this thing just a moment hold on let me save it first of all so whenever you do any modification save it refresh it you can see this thing is appearing in this form now what i want to do i want uh, to merge these two cells where a and b is appearing these two cells i want to merge when ever whenever there is such type of a situation whenever we have to merge the cells in the same row we use the call span method and uh, this is the first row you can see a is appearing into the first row and a is the very first cell of a row so what i'm going to use i'm going to use the very first cell of uh, the row that is the td the table data where a is being appearing right now i'm using what call span u l s p -E a n call span how many columns you want to merge i want to merge the two columns done now if i want to merge these two columns it means i'm using the capabilities of this particular cell along with a only so i do not require this particular cell over here because i have already merged it with uh, the previous cell uh, like the cell uh, that is being used at a, this position where a is appearing so what i'm doing is i'm uh, removing this particular column from here let's save it and just refresh and you can see this particular thing is appearing in this way like the two cells have been merged in case if you are merging these three cells it means the third cell has to be removed also so i'm removing it just saving it and what i'm going to use it i'm going to refresh it and you can see this first particular thing is appearing in this way okay and uh, you want to make this a is to be appear into the center part so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a line a l i g n as equal to center c e n t e r a line open and a line closed over here Okay, save it and just refresh it and nothing has been happened so let me check it once again I'm going to use control X and just write save and then refresh it and you can see the a is appearing at a center section i was used uh, the align as a tag but align is not a tag it is an attribute that has to be used along with a tag okay and uh, in my next video i'll be showing you how to use the row span method thanks for watching